Did you come to church today to hear that God can do something new, fresh, different in our lives in the next four weeks leading to Christmas? That this holiday might be more significant in ways that we do not expect. Did you come to church to hear that you don't have to create the holiday spirit? That God has given us a gift that we accept. There's nothing to generate. The Advent motion is arms wide open. I don't want to freak anybody out, but there are Christians. When I celebrate the Eucharist, my arms are up like this. I went to seminary three years, pay a lot of money to learn how to do this, by the way. It's very fancy. <laughs> that there are Christians out in the pew that sometimes will put their arms up like this, not because we're on TV, but just to say, Lord, I want to receive what you have to give. That's why a priest opens his or her arms so wide at the altar. To restore and to be renewed. The last one Jesus talked about in the gospel, he repeated something several times. For extra Bible bonus points, can they tell me what Jesus said? His refrain in the gospel reading, you can look at it if you'd like. What was Jesus' really fancy, theologically difficult statement today in the gospel? Be ready, stay awake. Stay awake. Not spiritually muddled. Not being bounced about. Did you ever play pinball? I'm dating myself. Was anybody really good at pinball? You know, does anybody feel like sometimes you're the ball in the machine? And someone's whacking those paddles as hard as they can? You know, kids, when they go to pizza, they don't know how to play. They just like to whack those paddles. Does anybody ever feel like that in life, that you're the ball and you're getting whacked around? Jesus says, none of that. We stay awake. We're not spiritually muddled. We're not in a fog. We're not walking around. Have you met someone in the holiday Starbucks fugue state? They're not using complete sentences. They're looking past you. They probably don't even really know where they are. Some of our folks don't even know who they are. Jesus says, none of that. It's not a season for that. You can't blink and get to January 1st. No, stay awake. Be present. Be alert. I'm going to put a nice third point on it to reset. God can restore... God can renew, but you know what Jesus says for us to do is reset. We can accept a gift of newness and reset. There are people in our church whose marriages need resetting. Whose relationships with their children need a constant reset button. There are people whose jobs need to be literally re-envisioned and reset. There are people whose assumptions about finances and future and health and wellness are being reset right now. Sometimes that's a God thing. Sometimes that's part of God's plan. And Jesus says no matter what else is happening day or night, no matter what you hear in wars and rumors of wars, Jesus says don't worry about that. Just be alert. Stay awake. Look for me. Did you come to church today to hear that God can restore us and save us? That God can renew his gifts to us even before Christmas? Did anybody come to church today to hear that we can accept that gift and push that reset button? And be faithful to God and look for Jesus, no matter what else is happening. Friends, it's a chaotic, turbulent time. Welcome to the chaotic, turbulent season of Advent. We'll be here Sunday after Sunday, and in the weeks between, we'll be lighting these candles, and I want you to be here with us. It's a wonderful thing to be restored, to be renewed, and to be reset. Happy Advent. In the name of God.
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now stand and reaffirm our faith by reciting together the Nicene Creed.